night, so it was a little bit harder to wake up this morning. The first two days that I did this, I just jumped out of bed. I was excited because it's something new, but now this just starting to become a pattern. It's, it's a little bit harder, but then I remembered in the Miracle Morning how it talks about it takes about 30 days for a habit to set in. The first 10 days are just super hard, and the next 10 days are not as comfortable, but they're a lot more bearable than the first 10 days. And then the last 10 days is you're starting to see the benefits, you're excited, and it's really setting in. And at day 30, it's a habit. And so I really just wanna keep waking up early, doing everything I can to be productive in the morning, and keep this up. Because when I'm doing that, I feel so much better for the rest of the day. I've been going through the CSS course a little bit, but I still have a lot to go. So I'm just gonna keep going through it, and hopefully I'll be able to finish it by the end of the day. And I did want to kind of clarify, I'm just learning the basics so that when I am doing WordPress and doing all the plugins and everything, I, I can see what's going on and I can understand it and maybe modify it a little bit, but I'm not going to be coding from scratch these websites that I'm going to be building. That would take me much longer and I might do that eventually, but at this point in time, I just want to be able to understand what's going on behind the scenes so that I can be better when I'm actually doing WordPress. So I've been keeping up with the cold showers. This is day three on cold showers and I'm still really liking it. It gives me that energy boost and it just makes me feel ready and prepared for the day. So that's really exciting. So another little side benefit that I wanted to talk about was that every morning as part of my little schedule is I do a little bit of yoga, like not much. We're talking five to 10 minutes, but it's honestly just made me feel a lot better between that drinking some smoothies and just exercising a little bit. It's been really good and it's been keeping my mental sharpness up. Oh man, I've been just going through the CSS. I, I still have a lot to do, but I can't really, like if I do any more, it's just not gonna work in my brain. So I'm just gonna kind of pause here for the day. I have been able to get quite a bit done. Um, I'm not gonna quite do a demo like I did yesterday, but hopefully when I finish the course, I'll do another one of those to kind of show the things that I've been able to accomplish in just these last couple of days. And I did wanna go over my expenses as I'm kind of going through this project. Like I said in the beginning, I set out a $750 budget for all the education and resources I need to build the business. So far, I've spent $15 on the HTML and CSS course, so that'll be my first expense for the business. Also, sticking with my book a day review, I wanted to go over this book, which is The Unlimited Self by Jonathan Heston. I thought it was a pretty good book. It's, it's definitely in that, that self-help category which are the kind of the two types of books that I'm going to be going over. Self-help books and business books, because that's kind of what I'm into. I need lots of motivation, lots of energy, and I also need to know how to do what I'm trying to do. So that's the two books that I'm going to be reviewing most, but I might throw in some other stuff as well. Anyways, this book was pretty good. It wasn't, it wasn't, you know, it didn't change the way I think about things, but it talks about the root of, of emotion and kind of why we do certain things and how we developed as a child and, and how that kind of leads to us making certain decisions and thinking the way that we think and how certain decisions, if we go back and try to remap those almost, if we, if we change the way that we wanted to rebel as a kid in this way, that it could change our overall outlook on life and, and certain aspects that would really help us to be able to just progress more in life. So. I thought it was pretty good. I mean, like I said, it wasn't life changing, but it's a good weekend read if you just have some extra time. And one last thing I did want to mention, you'll notice here my screens have this awkward yellow tint to them, and that's because I use this program. It's called Flux or F dot L U X, and I'm a really big fan of it. It kind of takes out the blue tint in the screens so that it doesn't hurt your eyes and also helps you be, to be able to sleep at night, especially after looking at the screen all day. I'm gonna sign off now, but I'll see you on Monday.